Last time you saw me, I was with my dad and we were giving the first of these updates uh, on our building progress. And since then a bunch has happened. And my dad gave you an update a couple weeks ago where the mezzanine had gone in. So it started out as just the empty warehouse, then the mezzanine went in. And in the last two weeks of building work, a ton has happened in here. There's been walls going up, there's been painting and decorating, windows being put in. It's really taking shape now and you can really see the shape of the building and I'm excited to show you. There's been a wall go up on my left um, to sort of box in this area. This is gonna be our office. So we're gonna have desks go in here behind me. And we've got a nice window at the front of the building. So this will be a nice, uh, we'll get in some nice natural light and make it feel a little less claustrophobic here. Uh, of course, at the back, there's gonna be the studio, which has to be boxed in because uh, we wanna cut out the natural light so that we have a bit more control. This is the spot where Paul and I sat uh, to give you the first update. And you remember, it's a, it was just a warehouse then. And then you saw the mezzanine go up when Paul gave the last update. And now there's walls on either side. And I gave a clap then, and there was a good big echo. This time there's probably a lot less. There's still gonna be some because uh, there's still an opening to my left here that's gonna get closed up. But this is gonna to start to sound and look much better. And this is gonna be probably the most important room in this new building because this is where we're gonna do all our filming. And this is gonna be the garage and there's gonna be bricks along these walls on top of the uh, plasterboard. This, this plasterboard is purple um, and it's a special kind of plasterboard that blocks uh, more noise than normal uh, so it's more sound insulating. And then there's going to be a bit of a ceiling, um, a bit of the garage ceiling that's going to go up there and then this bit of ceiling isn't actually going to be on camera much, uh, if at all. Um, and so we're going to actually put in the same garage doors we had in our mock-up um, into the opening over here because we wanted just a little bit of continuity with the last uh, the mock-up that we did. I'm really excited about how this is turning out. We're really gonna be able to control the sound and, and light coming into this room, which will be really important because although uh, we've heard from you that some of you liked some of the little noises that were coming in from the outside, um, what we had to cut out were the bigger, louder noises that could have been really disruptive to our filming process. So actually this is gonna help us to film much more continuously. And for you to actually, I think in some ways it's gonna be more natural for you guys to see Paul working without the interruptions uh, that we try to cut out. Um, because they're usually not interruptions that have anything to do with woodworking. They're usually just really loud noises uh, coming in from the outside. So I think this is gonna be a really exciting place to do some really good filming. These will be the, the sort of more rustic looking garage doors, but then we have a legal requirement to have the fire doors in this opening here. Um, so this will be where the fire doors are. And then coming out into this area, we've got some good natural light. So um, this is gonna be where anybody who's doing any woodworking is gonna come out and do it out here, um, other than what Paul does on, on the set. So this is gonna be, we're gonna have some more benches set up out here and the people working for us can come out here or I could come out here and do a bit of woodworking in this space as well. So we're gonna have this set up um, 
with more benches and tools and some cupboards on the wall and that kind of thing. This wall separates out the workshop from the studio and the, um, the void we're calling it above, which is just a big space that we haven't actually figured out what we're gonna do with. But the reason we had that put in there is because we don't want a really tall ceiling in the studio because we don't want it echoey. And we've actually got three meters of height still. So we've got plenty of room to do what we need to in there. My dad likes to reuse whatever he possibly can. And so he spotted these pallets that the plasterboard arrived on and he said, I really want those cutting up and making into the, um, the ceiling part of the garage set. And so we want those to look like rough rafters that would, that would be in a garage. Um, and so we've had um, the people working on this cut these up and those are gonna make up that part of the ceiling. Oh, hey, I've hijacked your channel. I can see that. And uh, the last thing to show you really is just this wall behind me. Uh, and this separates off the, um, the workshop, er the upper part of the workshop area. Uh, and this, this mezzanine floor was really important because right now it's raining and there's quite a bit of noise coming from above. This floor, because it's really well insulated, we've got multiple layers in there, is gonna cut off the studio from that kind of outside noise and from helicopters and airplanes and other things going over. Uh, and so it's just that other level to help us to have that quiet and controlled sound inside. I've really enjoyed showing you guys round and um, we're gonna give another update. My dad's gonna give an update in uh, another couple of weeks just to show you how things are progressing. Uh, but we really enjoy your comments and hearing from you and, and uh, having you follow along with our journey.